Alright guys, here we are with another Bloodborne episode. We got that last video uploading. And we have just beaten Father Gastron. We got into the Odin's Chapel. And we returned to the Hunter's Dream. In this video, I'm going to show you the... Uh, Oh, right. The Cathedral Ward. I'm going to show you the Blood Gem Workshop Tool. Fortify weapons using Blood Gems. Blood Gems imbue weapons with special characteristics. So, I don't have any right now. But, as you can see, I can put one Blood Gem in the pistol and one Blood Gem in my saw cleaver. For right now. Um, let's see, fortify, I don't have any more bloodstone shards, so I can't upgrade my weapons anymore, but I will repair my saw cleaver using 22 blood echoes. Again, I'm not leveling up, German's back if you want to talk to him again. I guess it's once you get 10 insights you can buy the sinister bell i'm i'm not sure i don't really care i'm not gonna do pvp so as you can see i got my 20 blood vials back and 20 quicksilver bullets back just by entering the hunter's dream we're gonna go to cathedral ward and get this video started I still didn't set a damn timer. Oh well. We didn't do too bad on the last video. Didn't even hit 20 minutes, so I think that's pretty good. Ooh, when we go back to buy the hunters or the key I'll show you what the key is used for not right now here in a second I'm going to kill these enemies so you get birds here woohoo right and you get those guys these are the church keepers I call them grave keepers because they uh The first ones I encountered were in the, like, graveyard type deal. They're real slow. Pretty much any time in their wind-up, you can shoot them and do that. And it kills them. Now, if you remember in the beginning of the video, I was talking about that crappy shield. Shit. We need to get these guys away from each other. That's right. Hit the fire. Dumbasses. Kill that guy. And kill this guy. So, they're pretty difficult when they're put together. But if you know, if you wait for that guy to walk down the steps, you'll be alright. And here is that shield. I will show you that it's a load of crap. Alright, oh. This gate is closed by a device. That device is right there on the other side of the gate. Alright. So, with that being said, it only leaves you with one other way to go. That way. This door is closed. We will be getting it open. Come down here, yeah, see, graveyard, gravekeeper, no, he's a church keeper. Here's that shield. I guess it's not complete garbage, but, you know, it sucks. You don't get to do anything with it. Good thing I shot that guy. 
Oh shit. Gonna heal up. Shoot him. And now I'm gonna show you where you find your second set of armor. And over here we get some blood vials. See that shiny light right there? Well, you can't see him, but there's a guy right there. You'll see him later on in the game. But I'll heal up just in case you don't get back. Just pick that up and run back. See? Now, if you get caught in that, this is what happens. See, you can see the arm. See it right there. So you can't really see it when he picks you up, but you'll be able to see it later on in the game. Alright, now time to show you what the key is for that we need to go buy. Don't be intimidated by this guy. He hurts if he hits you, but hopefully I'll be able to tell you. Wow, I did enough damage to stagger him. That doesn't happen a whole lot for me. So this guy is really easy just to dodge towards. But since you know about him, if you run up here and you pull this right here, it'll close the gate and he'll get stuck behind it. You can kill him that way, but he can still hit you too, so you'll have to back away and stuff. So I just figure it's easier to kill him that way. Here is that gate that we need to open. Only a special em emblem. Only a special emblem opens the main gate. So we're gonna go get the blood echoes. The ten thousand needed to open that gate. We're gonna get a little extra so we can This guy is a statue troll because he's got a statue. I don't know if he hits harder or not. But okay. It's obvious he doesn't hit harder. We're gonna get a little Away from over here. There's a cliff. I don't want to get. I don't want to fall off the cliff. Also, don't want to die by trolls. So we're just gonna waste this small off. You big piece of shit. Back up. They won't follow you up the steps. I was doing fine with the staggers before. You guys freaking watched me in the first video. And I just can't get it. For the life of me. Shiny coins are pointless. I'll tell you that now. I don't even know what I picked up there. But it obviously doesn't matter. You always want to check back behind places because normally there's a dead body back there or something that you can loot something off of. Kind of like this. I thought he was down there. That's my fault. This lets you peek just a little further. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. To get off of it, you just click use item again and it goes away. So we have 10,000, but like I said, I'm gonna get just a tad bit more. Bloodstone shards. 
Who knows, maybe I'll get enough to uh, level up my weapon. Alright. Can't really see it, but there is like a spider thing over there. And, you know, that big statue, well, bowling ball guy. We're going for the spider. Yeah, we're going for the spider. You just have to hit him before he fades away, and he'll stop fading. Gonna pick that up. So, that's a real good way to show that you need to dodge towards the enemy. Can't really stagger these guys without doing enough damage to them. So when he just swipes once like that, you don't have to worry too much about it. But if he's continuously swiping, then you want to dodge towards him because if you get caught in that, you're you're gonna die. <laughs> Unless somehow you get out of it most chances are you're gonna die if you run down here people put a whole bunch of notes time for rolling nothing but blood gems here time for rolling because they think that you know you break stuff and you're gonna get something you don't get nothing out of it so waste of time want to show you that I'm not gonna break all of it because again if you don't see a light there's nothing here turn back all's well wait ahead tempered blood gemstone close remember ritual materials so I've never opened this door if you know how to open the door, please, in the comments, let me know. I would really like to know what's back there. I know this is an informational blood th Bloodborne walkthrough. And I would love to tell you guys how to open that door. But I don't really like looking stuff up. I feel like it ruins the game for me. So... With that being said, again, if you know how to open the door, leave it in the comments below. If you don't, it's all good. I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Especially seeing how it's talking about ritual materials and whatnot. So, I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream. We're going to buy that key, and we're also going to go talk to that old lady get her to a safe place we're gonna do one more thing that requires talking to someone before that all right we're gonna go over here purchase items hunter's chief and bomb it's a key that's all it is it's a freaking key Ooh. purchase items go to weapons and again it allows you to buy those two weapons so I'm not gonna buy the hunter's axe that would be me wasting 1100 blood echoes and I already have those two weapons so if I ever have extra blood echoes I might buy the axe and show you the spin to win I'm gonna fortify my weapon 340 blood echoes and 8 shards and now it takes twin bloodstone shards we don't have any of those we'll go ahead and upgrade the pistol again as well and then blood gem fortifications we're going to use the blood gem on our saw cleaver so blood gem effects physical attack of plus 1.1 percent and hit points continues to recover plus one 
We can't put a second one on there because we don't have a second one. Ooh, and it tells you. At the right of the highlighted weapon, you'll see one of two and then zero of one. That's the blood gems that you have in your weapon. All right. We're going to go to the first floor sick room. Now this only happens after you beat. I think it's just the first boss. It's the only boss you have to beat. And then if you run back here for some reason. Seems like she's a little further away from the door now. see your face anymore but oh well hello you can tell that's a different voice split you're soon off to hunt I presume then if you find any survivors tell them to seek your Sefka's clinic upon my Hippocratic oath if they are yet human I will look after them perhaps even cure them this sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. See, before she was sweet, she was nice. Gave you some of her blood, and you know, now she's like, I I want to help, but I'm not gonna help you. No, she's not good. Don't do it. So since we're here, we are going to run over here and try and kill this guy. Right after killing this guy. So as you can tell, the weapon is doing more damage after leveling it up. Just gonna... Oh, son of a bitch. That didn't work, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> if he's running at you, just dodge towards him. I'm gonna heal. Get away from me, fat fucker. Alright. You're gonna try and hit me this time? Thank you. See, he hit me, but I hit him too. So that sucks. Damn. Caught in it again. Oh well. Now we're just gonna. Just kidding. We're gonna go up the ladder. We don't have nothing to fear going up the ladder. We need to go talk to the old lady anyway, so. Hey, we can talk to Gilbert. <laughs> I'm afraid of. Because after you fight Father Gaston, he'll give you the flame sprayer. But if there's uh, I can Flame Sprayer is a firearm. And shoot fire. It does not stagger your enemy, so you know. If that's what you're trying to do, don't do it. 
Arthur here, kill this guy. Just so he doesn't follow us. Now I know the dogs are locked up, but... You wanna kill them. So they don't get out. Excuse me. And in the next video, we will open up that gate and continue on into the Cathedral Ward. But in this video, so what is it? A much better way than this. Now, you can either tell her of the Odin's Chapel or Eusefka's Clinic. Again, I was saying Eusefka's Clinic is bad. So you want to tell her of the Odin's Chapel. And, yeah, she's still a grumpy old lady. So, I'm going to actually run back and get into the Hunter's Dream. And then I'll log off. We'll start up the next video later on today, probably. But, until then, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the game, especially since, you know, it's my favorite game. I really hope it gives you as much enjoyment at, as it does me. We will continue off in the next video right where we left off as always that way you guys don't miss me doing anything and you don't think I'm skipping out on stuff that you could be learning as always if you stuck around through the entire video hit that like button subscribe turn on that no those notifications that way you can tell anytime another video has popped up if you don't want the notifications it's whatever I put a video or two up a day maybe even three I'll catch you guys later in the next video later on guys